Um, good day to you, everybody. Um, my name is Aaron Munetzi. Um, I'm coming to you today with a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of enthusiasm, because I want to share with you the story of um, one typical son of the soil. So I'm uh, one of those people who has had a varied experience across the width and breadth of our continent of Africa. Um, especially in uh, my career with um, an airline, uh, South African Airways, uh, which has taken me across the east, the west, the north and the south. Uh, to the extent that I've actually lived in um, uh, seven or eight countries with my family, uh, with my different assignments. And with that experience, it gives me a lot of pleasure to call myself a son of the soil because there is not one part of the continent that I don't feel uh, at home. I feel at home anywhere on the African continent and with my African people. So why am I talking to you today is because I have a proposition. And the proposition is uh, talking about how do we make use of my 30 or more years of experience in the aviation industry. And that experience um, actually gets down to the extent of becoming the expertise that I've developed. Uh, I've developed this expertise uh, specifically to be able to give back to the African continent. So my expertise has been especially in the sales and marketing environment where I have also become quite adept at leadership. Um, with that leadership experience, I then went on to the extent of now saying to myself, as the years, as the years go by, what else can I do to make sure that um, when this library of information that I am is no longer available, the rest of the continent, especially the young ones, do not fill the void of a, of a library uh, that is closed. So I went on and uh, actually enrolled and participated in um, coaching, ex uh, coaching experience. So I became a life coach. And I'm very proud of my experience um, of, of going through the, tra the training, the, le the learnership to become a coach. Uh, because now what it, what it did was it opened a completely new and exciting avenue to my experience, which I want to share with you. Um, and now that, that experience also goes further to enhance the capability of the African continent in terms of developing its own people and not um, crying all the time because of brain drain. We actually have the capacity on the African continent, especially in the aviation industry, to do what we need to do to become a force to reckon with and to live with the rest of the global community in aviation. So I now developed competence in coaching. I also developed competence in coaching individuals, coaching organizations and coaching teams. Um, and right now, my my excitement comes with the fact that I'm able to to be very ambidextrous in terms of my offering um, to the aviation industry and to um, actually African entrepreneurs, African businesses, um, African governments, African regulatory authorities, um, in terms of how are we going to be able to grow ourselves into what we want to be. Um, so my call to action today is to say... The future belongs to those who prepare for it, um, especially those who prepare for it today. Uh, my question that I want to ask you before I go, I go further is, what have you done to prepare yourself for the future? Um, what future are you preparing for? Is it a future that is full of excitement, hope, dedication, determination, and commitment? Um, is it a future that you aspire to live proudly to your to young ones, your family, to your children? Is it a future that you will be very proud to say, you put your hand to your chest and say, I have done the best that I can to make sure that the future generations of Africans are going to be proud of what we have done and what we have bequeathed to them? Um, that call to action um, is actually embedded in uh, my personal opinion, my vision, which is to say that the Africa of the future is going to be a very competent, um, competent and commanding position that Africa is going to, go to, to, to hold. Uh, based on three things, the first one is that we have an amazing continent still full of resources that have not even been um, exploited to the benefit of the continent. The second thing is that we have a dividend 
which I call the youth dividend. Um, we have a very young population, very, very um, competent population that is eager to learn and do things, and even do things better and sometimes better than those people that have started the, those th doing those things before us. And the third thing is to say that the, the future belongs to those who prepare for it, and we as Africans have prepared for it through the hard way. Uh, we have gone through the University of Hard Knocks. We have, had our, uh, we have had our experiences with difficult things that we have dealt with. But um, in my view, those things are also good things because they have actually taught us that we are resilient, we are competent, and we can actually achieve much more than we think we can achieve. So as a coach, um, I also do quite a lot of speaking. Um, I've been on the speaking circuit now for quite a long time. And I, I like to speak about the things that I know, the things that I am confident of, the things that I know that Africa is capable of doing. So I, I, I actually facilitate quite a lot of um, events where I speak about the now, I speak about the future, and I also speak about not being obsessed with the past. The past is the past, it has happened, we have learned from it, but let's keep focusing on the future. So um, I think um, the continent is actually endowed with a lot of opportunities that we need to, um, to embrace and make sure that we, we ask ourselves these difficult but very important questions. So the first question I want to ask you is, what do you want? Um, in some of my coaching experiences with my clients, when I ask this question, it's a quite a difficult question. What do you want? You must be able to answer that question. What do you want? The second question I want to ask you is, when do you want it? Um, if we have been brave enough to say, what do you want? Then you must be able to say, when do you want it? The third question is, the final question, um, how are you going to achieve it? Um, how long do you think you are going to be able to work to achieve what you want to achieve? Um, with that, I want to end by saying, uh, we've got this, Africa, um, because one of my favorite saying is, to be is to do, and to do is to do now because tomorrow might never come. I'm looking forward to hearing from you, to engaging with you, and to making sure that we move our continent together competently, confidently, and comfortably. I really appreciate that you have taken time to listen to me, and I look forward to engaging with you. Thank you very much, and God bless Africa.